Yeah, so thank you. So first at the convention itself, we are a company that wants to develop a soul dome on the eastern seaboard of Canada. It's the only soul dome that we have in Canada. And soul dome around the world are used to store massive amount, usually oil and gas product but also hydrogen. You can store hydrogen, or in our case, we were looking at a compressed air energy storage system. Uh, we want to make sure that we use and maximize this soil dome that is very unique, very large. Uh, there's a lot of space. It will definitely be developed over time with the technology that is the most up-to-date. And, and what we see right now around the world is People who wants to generate power through compressed air energy storage. We believe that the first project we will have is compressed air energy storage, so we're going to compress air. That's in a way uh, complex and simple at the same time. And hydrogen is right there as well. It can be it's so versatile, it can be a fuel. We can use it to burn it locally and generate more power for us, for Canadian, and for Newfoundland and Labrador, where they, they, they do have need right now. So that's that's our plan, and I think it's a great plan, it's a great asset, and it's a strategic infrastructure. We hear it all the time. Projects are developed very slowly in Canada compared to other places in the world. I think I read the other day that we're the 45th country to go through environmental impact assessment and, and permitting. We need to help each other here. I think there is very good technology we want. I think we are committed to do a transition. We need to advance that transition and we will need to do more mining. We have critical minerals here in Canada. We have the soil dome that we want to develop. It's something we can do and we can do it with the best technology available. And I was at other conference in the past few months and I hear fantastic ideas from Canadian company or from other company to mitigate some of the challenges we have. So I think the more we speak together, the more we participate to event like we will have in, in Edmonton, there's other here in Alberta, we can definitely find the best solution for us. But the regulatory framework needs to be in place and need to allow people who want to invest in uh, these technology to, to see quickly how uh, this project will be approved. Working together make sure we can have our own ways assessing what's going on. In our case, salt cavern storage with hydrogen, it's not something new, it's something that's been there. So we're very confident we can do it. Uh, we still need to explain to people. I think it's, uh, for me, the way I see it is I am showcasing to the people that live close to the dome itself, uh, the, the potential in the hydrogen sector. There's a lot of component that we can transfer from the oil and gas industry. I think the hydrogen is a fuel, it's like we're used to manipulate fuel if you want. We, we produce it, we store it, we transport it, we use it. That's a new fuel. So it's, I think for the hydrogen sector, in a way, it's the closest you can be to the oil and gas. And the people that work in the oil and gas will be like very easily able to provide very important expertise to the hydrogen sector. There is differences but we have a great background in the oil and gas industry here. And, and that step toward hydrogen is not, it is there, but it's not that different. And, and I think with the best mine and what we have into the oil and gas uh, sector for risk measure, it's something that very serious for, I think every producer or every midstream company that we have in the country, it will reflect into the hydrogen sector as well. want 
to use the best approach, the best technique available. As an example, we want to use for the solution mining of those caverns, we want to use water that will come from the ocean. This asset is located only 10 kilometers away from the ocean. Newfoundland is an island. Everybody is very concerned about their, their water, their drinking water. So having the ocean that close, I think, yeah, allow us to, to be very creative how we can bring this water in. So we look at different techniques that have been used around the world. One of them is at Beach Well. We're looking at different partnerships to commercialize that salt instead of injecting it underground or sending the brine back to the ocean. That will generate more job, more value to the local community. And, and that's something that is very important. And for the size, the asset, the potential, I think there's no other true multi-generational project that we have. One cavern can have more than 9,000 ton hydrogen. True strategic project that we have, I think, as a country. And we can use, the beauty is, we can use the power of the wind. Everybody knows that it's very windy in Atlantic Canada. That's fantastic. We can harness all the energy possible and store it, stockpile it, and use it for us. And use the grid to transport it and, and make sure we decarbonize this region. I've been going to the convention for, I think it's going to be my third year. The people I meet there, the new technology that is coming up, the technology that is there for transitioning from diesel to hydrogen, from energy storage, from electrolyzer, from everything that's happening with uh, University of Alberta, University of Calgary, Innovate Alberta. We are creating something very special and the more, this is our, that's our chance for Trooper Point to be there and, and showcase that there is something on the other side of the country. But everything that's happening here will help our project. Like for me, like I'm always amazed to see companies showcasing their ideas, their technology. And you never know, like I'm naturally a connector. So I, I'm very curious about, like I go at every booth and ask them questions about what they're doing, where they can go, keep that in mind. And, you never know when we can connect the dot together or I can help to connect the dot with someone else that I know uh, or maybe someone that I've seen in Europe. And I will gladly open any discussion between anybody that I meet from around the world. And, and I think we have this generation have a task to figure out how we'll integrate uh, renewable energy how we'll do that transition for from fossil fuels. And it's a transition. It will take time. Like it's working together, being together. And it, it's not that long, it's just a few days, but you learn a lot and you never know where it's gonna bring you. So for us, it's really to, yes, showcase what we have, but it's also being very curious about what's going on in, in the market. And, and I'm always amazed to see uh, what other people are doing. Mm -hmm.